it's really relevant. I mean, it's a book that generation after generation just falls in love with. And there's the recent movie, of course, as well. Um, but I think, you know, we've, we've lived through a pandemic recently and are living in a pandemic. And, and this show is set with the Civil War, the American Civil War as the backdrop. And so I think there's lots of themes in this of, um, that we can identify with. And I think especially the idea that family is the most important thing. And I think we've all felt that during the pandemic. Jo, I'm just completely in love with Jo. I'm completely in love with her and all the research I've done and reading the book again and looking at Louise May Alcott's life has just made me feel so grateful. She wrote herself to Jo and that's really helpful because I could look at her influences, what influenced her, why she wrote Jo the way she did and um, Louise May Alcott never married and that was kind of a scandalous thing in the 1800s and I think that's really amazing and important to know that she didn't actually want Joe to marry um, but she had to write in a marriage at the end of the book otherwise it wouldn't have been published and seeing the disparity between what Louisa wanted for Joe and what she had to put into the book was really interesting. Yeah the show obviously originated in uh, Manchester at the Hope Mill and we've been trying to find a place and an opportunity to take it to London, that was always one of the great ones for it. But it has been sometimes, it's been four years, um, I've also like, I feel like grown and learnt more with it and it's wonderful to revisit something that you care about so much, um, has quite a personal connection with me, um, being one of four sisters myself, it was a novel that we were read quite often as a child. Um, so yeah, I have nothing but warmth and love for the show and I, I really hope that it will capture the hearts and minds of a London audience. Well, just the third day of our rehearsals, um, we kind of blitzed the music in the first couple of days and the third day we attempted to sing through everything. And it was really special and really moving because we were just able to see how beautifully cast our production is and to hear everyone sing again. Um, and we're rehearsing in the church as well, which I think helps with just the beautiful acoustic here. There's a constant theme of like music, art, literature. Um, Beth plays the piano in the book. They will sing. And you know, Amy paints. Joe writes. And Meg wants to be an actress. There's that kind of. There's all to do with the arts. Um, and I think that it it's a natural progression for the story to become a musical. The six different um, women in the uh, story, all very very different. Um, fiery, funny, uh, innocent, um, and, and they all bring their own personalities and that's often so rare to get so many different women portrayed in theatre and film, I, I would say. Um, so that's quite inspiring. That it's three sides of the park and the audience will very much feel like they're part of it. Um, it feels very immersive and because the audience is so close, it really, it just feels like they're in the living room with us, so <laughs> I think that would be an interesting experience.